Hello friends. In this video, we will study the various types of errors in the measurement. So let us start with our topic. Whenever we are doing any type of measurement, then the result of our measurement is always affected by error. Through measurement, we get the value of an unknown quantity by measuring it with the help of a measuring instrument. Now the value which we are getting from the measuring instrument is called the measured value of the quantity and this measured value is different from the actual value or the true value of the quantity. So the difference between the measured value that is the value which we are getting from the instrument and the true value of the in, uh, quantity that difference is called the error. Now this error it can be of various types like we can express this error in the measurements in various ways. One of the way is absolute error, relative error or the limiting error. So these are the various ways in which the error can be expressed in measurements. So here we will study these three types. First is the absolute error. Absolute error is defined as the difference between the true value of the quantity and the measured value of the quantity. So it is just the difference or we can say that uh, it is the simple way in which we define the error. So we can say that the absolute error, it is the amount of physical error present in the measurement. Okay. Now absolute error, it is the difference between true value and the measured value. So if we write the formula for it, so absolute error, suppose it is denoted as del A it will be equal to the difference between the true value suppose the true value of the quantity is denoted as a and the measured value is denoted as a m so absolute error del a will be equal to the true value minus the measured value so this is the formula for the absolute error so whenever we want to find the absolute error in a measurement, we will find the difference between the true value and the measured value. Next type of error is the relative error. Relative error is the ratio of the absolute error and the true value of the quantity. So absolute error we have already defined. It is the difference. So that absolute error divided by the true value. Now suppose if we want to find uh, write the formula for it, so relative error, it is denoted as epsilon r, it will be equal to the absolute error divided by the true value of the unknown quantity. So true value we have already denoted it is a. So del a by a is the relative error. Now absolute error is what a minus a m and this is the true value okay so this is the formula for the relative error
Now this relative error when it is very small, uh, this absolute error that is del A when it is very small, then it can be denoted as epsilon naught. So epsilon naught by A is also the formula for the relative error. Now this relative error, it gives us an indication that how good is our measurement means because the word relative is there. So it means that we with respect to some criteria, we are finding that how good our measurement is like suppose we know that our instrument, it gives a error of suppose plus minus 0.5%. This is the accuracy of the instrument. Now we are using that instrument to measure the length. Now one person it is measuring the length of a ceiling that how much is the distance of the ceiling from the floor. So we are measuring the length of the ceiling. Okay and suppose that he is getting that the length of the ceiling is suppose 3000 meters. Okay. And uh, one person, another person, he is uh, measure. He is using the same instrument, and he is measuring the length of a tree. Okay, and suppose he is getting that the length is suppose hundred meters. Now, same instrument which is having the accuracy of plus minus 0.5 percent it is measuring 3000 meters also and 100 meters also so in the case of 3000 meters if we see that uh, the accuracy if we use utilize this plus minus 0.5 percent we will see that the error is negligible then error plus minus 0.5 percent it can be tolerated but in the case of 100 meters, this plus minus 0.5 percent of error, it cannot be neglected. So we are finding this relative error. It is giving us an indication that the 3000 meters of the measurement, it is more accurate than as comparison to the 100 meters of comparison. Uh, of the measurement using the same instrument having this error. So relative error, it gives us an indication of how good our measurement is. So this uh, goodness of the uh, measurement, it is with respect to the size of the quantity which we are measuring. So this was the relative error in the measurements. Another way to express the error is the percentage relative error. So percentage relative error will be percentage epsilon r that means epsilon r into 100 and what is the formula for the epsilon r epsilon naught by a into 100 or we can say that percentage relative error is equal to the absolute error divided by the true value into 100 okay that will be the percentage relative error so when we are solving the numericals if we know the absolute error or if we just know the true value and the measured value that is a and am then we can easily calculate absolute error relative error and percentage relative error we have to just put the values of these variables into the formulas next type of error is the limiting error Now limiting error means that when we are defining the error, we say that it is the difference between true value and measured value. Now this measured value, it can be in some range. That means it can be either more of the true value or it can be less than the 
true value so this range defined for the error is the limiting error means for error we are defining the limits that the measured value it can be either greater than the true value by this much amount and it can be less than the true value by this much amount okay so limiting error So we can say that the measured value of the unknown quantity, it can be more than or it can be less than the true value. So suppose that we are having the uh, true value and the measured value as measured value is suppose A, M, and true value is A. Okay. And error is del A. That is the difference between the two. So, this true value or the value which we are measuring, that is the measured value, it can be either greater than the true value by this much amount or it can be less than this amount okay so we can say that what we are getting is a plus minus del a that is true value plus the error or minus the error so this is the reading which we are getting from the instrument and the limits which we have defined that is plus minus del a that will be the limiting error So what we can write the definition of limiting error is the So the limits of the deviation of the measured value from the specified values are defined as the limiting errors. So there are three ways in which we can express the errors in the measurement. One is the absolute error which is just simple the difference between the measured and the true value of the quantity. Then we can use the relative error also. Relative error is the ratio of the absolute error and the true value and also we can express it in the form of percentage relative error and limiting error. Limiting error are the limits that in the these limits we can define the values of the unknown quantity. So in this video we studied about the various types of errors in the measurement. So I hope that this topic is clear to you. Thank you.